Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I quickly realized after posting the last video that I never formally introduced myself. My name is Emily and thank you for watching Misfit Hippies. Now once actually thought to be extinct, the crested gecko was later rediscovered around 1994 in New Caledonia. Once rediscovered, crested geckos got really big in the pet trade due to their docile personalities and because of their appearance. Crested geckos have these ridges along their eyes that make them appear to have eyelashes. They also got their name by their crest that goes all along their head and down their backs. Crested geckos are very soft, to the point where they almost feel like velvet. After breeding them for many years, they started coming in different morphs and colors and got even more popular. As far as I'm aware, almost all crested geckos have the capability of changing colors, but not in the way that you might think. They're able to get fired up, and they slightly change colors depending on their mood. Now crested geckos are one of the bigger species of geckos. They can get anywhere between 6 to 10 inches. Unlike some other types of geckos, when crested geckos get scared or frightened, they will drop their tail, and they won't grow back. After a crested gecko drops its tail, it will then get a little nub at the end, and these are called frog butts. In my opinion, I would prefer actually handling a crested gecko that is known as a frog butt who doesn't have a tail, because one of my biggest fears is that Leo here is going to drop his tail while I'm holding him. Now if you look at the underside of a crested gecko's toes, you're going to notice that they look a little strange. That's because crested gecko's toes are covered in tiny little microscopic hairs called setae. These microscopic hairs help create a surface tension in between the gecko and whatever object it's trying to climb. Now crested gecko's life expectancies can vary from 10 to 15 years depending on how they are raised. Crested geckos are omnivores. They eat fruit, nectar, pollen, and insects. We also feed Leo here a Pangea diet mix that comes in a powder and you mix it with water until it's a pancake consistency. And then you just put that in his enclosure and he will enjoy that for the next couple days. After a few days, the Pangea mix will then harden up and we're able to break that down and feed it to our dwarf white isopods, who then afterwards were able to add to Leo's bioactive enclosure. In the future, I do plan on making a complete video for bioactive enclosures. Even though flighty by nature and they jump a lot, they are one of the most docile reptiles that I've had the pleasure of handling. Now, if you're considering getting your first reptile, I would highly recommend a crested gecko as they are low maintenance, easy to handle, and overall just really cool creatures. Well guys, that's all I have for today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see future videos, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching Misfit Hippies. Until next time, bye.